today we're going to be talking about simultaneous equation. Suppose your teacher gives you a problem like this, where he's thinking of two numbers, x and y, that can add to give you 3. At first glance, you may say to yourself, well sir, this is real easy. The answer is x equals to 1 and y equals to 2. And you may very well be right. Then you hear your friend next to you say, but sir, the answer is x equals to 5 and y equals to negative 2. And then someone else in the class suggests negative 7 plus 10. They would all be right. Then how are you supposed to figure out the exact answer the teacher wants? The truth is, you need more information to solve a problem like this. So the teacher must give you another question using the same two variables and maybe this new question plus the original one can be used to narrow down your choices. We call these types of problems simultaneous equation problems and there are a number of ways you can solve these types of questions. But today, we're going to focus on the elimination method. So let us look at our two questions again and we're going to label them equation 1 and equation 2. The first step involves deciding on which variable you would like to start with first. This will be eliminated later in your working. And for this example, we can choose x. We are at step 2 now. And as you can see, in equation 1, there is a single x value. But in equation 2, we have 3 x's. So we need to multiply both equations so that they have the same number of x's. I would multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 I would multiply by 1 which is essentially keeping it the same. Now in step 3 we can inspect the two equations again. We can see that by subtracting the second equation from the newly modified first equation you should be able to remove the x variable. 3x take away 3x equals to 0 and 3y take away 2y equals to 1y and 9 take away 7 equals to 2. So we can see that y equals to 2. Now that we know the value of y equals to 2, it is going to be easy for us to solve for the value of x. And we can do that by taking the value of y and substituting it into the first equation. So you should have x plus 2 equals to 3 and with some simple algebra rearranging, you get x equals to 3 take away 2 and x equals to 1. So there you have it. Our original guess was right, but now we have proved that it was the only correct answer. Now if you enjoyed that video, feel free to like and share it with your friends. You can always visit us at knowledgescroll.com where you can look at our full list of services that we offer to secondary and high school students. Here's also where you would come to browse our full catalog of featured videos as well as sign up for any of our reasonably priced online courses. My name is Kevin and I thank you for watching and I hope we meet again.